EOS is a very powerful tool in that it provides the best quality x-rays that we can get and it's able to do so with the lowest possible radiation so it's very safe for patients. In doing so you can create 3D models of the spine to better understand the patient's spinal alignment and plan surgery. The 3D models from EOS are extremely useful because you get a better idea of the patient's overall spinal alignment and also the exact nature of their deformity. There's rotational components to a spinal deformity, things called kyphosis and scoliosis, and it really helps to give the patient an idea of the nature of their deformity. Before we had EOS, I didn't know what we were missing. It's amazing how much information you can get on how patients are compensating for their deformity through their, usually through their knees and hips, and it's really allowed me to better understand my patient's deformity. The University of Orthopedics made the decision to buy EOS because this is just a crucial part of our ability to care for patients. In the world of pediatric orthopedics, we've known about EOS for a long time and it's, it's been revolutionary in the way we've evaluated spinal deformity and the effects of our treatment. Um, but when, when trying to, to see how this would be useful for a large multi subspecialty orthopedic group, it takes a little bit of looking into. And what we found is that the applications for EOS aren't just limited to pediatric spinal deformity. In the adult spinal deformity world, we know that often patients have arthritis of their hips and their knees and that affects how they stand. So the x-ray that you get of a patient's spine standing up may only give you part of the story if you don't have the ability to scan their whole body. And we've seen our spine surgeons actually change how they approach the surgical management of those patients and get much better results. And then it goes into the world of adult reconstruction. You know, the ability to get a long leg film to really look at how the patient's leg is lined up to see if there's a difference in the length of the leg and to be able to evaluate evaluate that in three dimensions and also even template their surgery, simulate their surgery before they do it. It's all through the use of a very quickly obtained low radiation scan has been revolutionary. So if we look along the spectrum of orthopedics, the ability to get weight bearing, standing up, full body x-rays in the position that the, our patients walk and run and play and plan our treatment in that mode has been absolutely groundbreaking. The great thing that we've seen with the EOS is the, the amount of patient interest. The patients like how quick the scan is, they walk in, they walk out, um, and they're really excited when we show them their images and their three-dimensional reconstructions of their spine. Um, it really is better for patients and they know that.